What's up, Sideline Nation? Thanks for tuning in this week for a fresh video. Today, we're taking a step back from current events and looking back in time to the way the game used to be. We figured we'd go all the way back to the basics and explore the evolution of a hockey stick. Believe it or not, hockey sticks date all the way back to the 1800s. Back then, sticks were hand carved from a single piece of wood. Check out how heavy this thing looks. You'd also probably absolutely dominate people with a good two-hand slash. The first commercial sticks were handcrafted by Micmac wood carvers in Nova Scotia, mostly from birch and hornbeam trees. As demand increased, these early twigs took on the commercial name of Micmac and were listed for sale in the Eaton catalog as early as 1905. A little bit of Canadian history for you there. At first, all hockey sticks had straight blades. We'll get to the origins of the curve in a minute. In the 1920s, the two-piece stick was invented by the Hespler Stick Company in Canada. Hockey sticks were still made from wood until the 1950s, at which time manufacturers began wrapping the blades of sticks in fiberglass. In the 1960s, hockey sticks changed forever. You can credit Chicago Blackhawks legends Stan Makita and Bobby Hall with popularizing the first stick curve. The story goes that Makita's blade got wedged in the door crack along the boards during one day of practice. His blade broke, but not all the way. Peep some of the earliest examples of stick curves here. The result of the mishap was a curved blade that Makita realized did wonders for his shot. He could shoot harder and faster with this mangled stick. Soon after the incident, Blackhawks players began experimenting with new curved blades by heating them up, often over a stove, and using door jams to bend and warp their sticks into new patterns. Fast forward to the 90s, and the GOAT himself, Wayne Gretzky, helped popularize aluminum shafts. Let's all take a second to appreciate some vintage top plays from the great one. Aluminum shafts gained widespread popularity following Gretzky's endorsement of the Easton HXP 5100, seen here with a wooden blade. Twig innovations continued into the late 90s with the intro of composite blades. Easton remained at the helm of hockey innovation into the millennium by releasing the Easton Synergy, one of the first one-piece composite sticks that sent youths across North America going crazy and harassing their parents for a couple hundred bucks to buy a new weapon. Composite sticks gained rapid popularity after Hall of Famer Matt Sundin, my favorite player growing up, sunk a miraculous OT goal in Game 1 of the 01 Stanley Cup playoffs using a composite twig. Within five years of their debut, one-piece composite sticks were being used by 90% of NHL players, who didn't want to be like Matt's. And that about catches us up to the twigs we all use today. Companies like CCM and Bauer continue to iterate on their various stick lines, perpetually chasing the creation of the lightest, fastest, or strongest twig on the market. The Bauer ADV is perhaps the best recent example of a twig that totally upped the ante for the rest of the market. As time goes on, we'll see what these manufacturers continue to cook up. And rest assured, we'll be the first to let you know about new stick releases as they happen. What piece of gear do you want to learn about next? Be sure to let us know in the comments. And as always, don't forget to hit subscribe.